So good morning everyone, welcome back to another one of my cat food hauls. So I'm so happy that you guys have been really enjoying my cat related videos and I will be filming so 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 much more, especially now I know that you guys really love them, especially my cat vlogs. I got so many positive comments on my last vlog. So I've done a handful of these food hauls so if you've seen any of my previous ones, if you haven't I'll link them in the description. Um, this one is going to be pretty similar, there's a few new products to show if you guys and this time with this food haul I've done it as this is a realistic what I feed my ragdoll cat in a month kind of video so I work as a pet shop assistant so most of the things I've got are from work there's a couple of things that I've brought elsewhere so cost wise we're looking at about 80 to 100 pounds worth this month I didn't have to buy her any biscuits and I'm not giving her as much biscuits as I used to she used to get them every single day but the biscuits I do feed her are the Nature's Variety Chicken Biscuit. She's been on that food for I think over a year now and she absolutely loves it. It's grain free and it's got a high meat content. First ingredient I think is deboned free range chicken which is amazing. And for the big bag it's about $16.99. So I'm really excited to share this brand with you guys. It's called Perform and my manager recommended this food to me. He said this is the best of the best when it comes to raw food for cats. It's a little bit pricey and the postage is like eight pounds something me and two of my other work colleagues we all chipped in 10 pounds 80 each and i ordered three of the trial boxes and we just split it so we had six each so this is what the box looks like and it comes with three flavors but because me and my work colleagues sort of mixed them up she was able to try i think all of the flavors in the trial boxes and she liked them all but the thing i love most about this brand is that they do tubs of raw food but they also do pouches of raw food so I love that you don't have to defrost a whole tub you can just defrost a pouch which is equivalent to one meal so these pouches are 60 or 70 70 grams each so I've got two pouches here these are the last two so we've got chicken and ground bone with heart and in this one we've got farmed rabbit with ground bone liver and kidney so there's a lot of chicken and there's a lot of rabbit um that's what most of the flavors contain and yeah i'll definitely be ordering again from this company for bella it is expensive but it is something a little bit different for her so next month i'll do an order and um then i'll show you guys what i got so next i'm going to show you guys some more raw food from a brand called nutriment and we actually have this range at work so they do bigger tubs which are about 500 grams however it works out better for me to get the smaller tubs which are i think 175 grams simply because if i feed bella the same thing for too many days she just won't eat it she'll get sick of it so that's why i have to feed her a variety of food because um she likes a variety she's not one of those cats that can just eat the same thing continuously so i've got three pouches to share with you guys so the first one is venison and duck so it just looks like this and it's literally just in this little tub so when you want to feed it to your cat put it in the fridge let it defrost overnight and it's ready for them to have in the morning raw food doesn't have any smell and if you solely feed raw food your cat will poo less their poos will be firmer and their poos won't smell it's amazing and when i fed bella on raw food for two weeks it was incredible her poo didn't smell but sadly bella doesn't want to just eat raw food or else i would solely feed her of raw food diet so here we've got beef and then this one is rabbit with turkey if you guys haven't fed raw food before give it a go it's so easy to feed so over the past couple of months there's been a few new products at work and i always get so excited when my manager gets some new stuff in. I always love trying new bits with Bella. So I've got some stuff from Sheba. So Sheba is not really a brand I would ever buy for Bella. Looking at the um, ingredients, um, it's not too good. <laughs> the first ingredient is meat and animal derivatives. And um, if your cat food says that, it's, it means it's a crappy cat food. It's basically like the off cuts of um, the animals that's uh, not very healthy. So when these came in, I thought, oh, they look quite good because it actually has a window so you can see the product and you can see the chicken and you can see is that shrimp or prawn so i looked at the ingredients and um the first ingredient is chicken with shrimp and ocean fish so i thought oh that's quite good for sheba bella has tried this flavor before and she really likes it so i bought two of this flavor which is chicken with shrimp and ocean fish and it just looks like this it looks really good um and then i got her two of the natural shredded chicken 
So this one is just plain chicken. And then we've got um, chicken with sustainable tuna. Um, that just looks like this. So if you're wondering what it's in, it's basically a, um, it's not a jelly. It looks like a jelly, but it's not. And it's basically a gravy, but it's quite a thick gravy. Yeah, I didn't think I would ever be buying Bella cheaper. So this is why I always like to read the ingredients. Yeah, these are quite pricey. They're over a pound per pot and you don't get much in there there's only oh that's not too bad actually it's more than i thought you've actually got 60 grams in here just as an occasional treat something different to feed her so next moving on to two new things so i've got some more new food to show you guys i haven't tried her on this yet i have a feeling she might not like it but it was worth a try so scrambles actually sent bella some food last year they reached out to me on instagram and they sent me a bag of dry food and a pack of treats and she didn't really like it um the biscuits i think she ate a little bit or the treat she ate a little bit and then she refused to eat it and then the biscuits i think she might have eaten it at the start and then she was just like i don't want to eat this so i ended up giving it to one of my work colleagues and we have rumbles food at work these little pops which i think they're discontinuing and um it was like a pate bella's not a huge fan of pate and she didn't like it um it's really good quality healthy food but bella just doesn't seem to like this brand so they've got these new jelly tins out so i think it might be like a pate in jelly so i thought i would uh try her on this so this is turkey in jelly just looks like that and these tins are about 70 grams i think oh these are actually 80 grams which is quite nice and this is a complete food this one isn't complimentary i mentioned this in all my vlogs um definitely check your cat food to see whether it's complete or complimentary um complete food basically means it is a complete meal complimentary basically means it hasn't got all the added vitamins and minerals to make it complete but if you're feeding complimentary food along with complete food then that's absolutely fine i don't recommend feeding in solely complimentary food because then um your cat's going to be missing out on nutrients and bella has just come to say hello bella is officially two my last cat vlog went up um not cat vlog yeah my last cat vlog went up on her birthday which was march the um 25th so she is two i don't know how she's two already cloves are now covered in cat fur nice so yeah the other scrambles flavor is chicken and jelly i was thinking of maybe trying her on one of these today next we've got something from enco we now stock this brand at work as you guys know i'm so excited about it because before you could only get this in the supermarket we've actually got quite a decent range now um enco stuff is quite pricey <laughs> um it is very similar to the brand applaud as i've mentioned before they literally come from the same place the flavors are the same but there's um, but there's more variety with applause and it's cheaper. I picked this up for her this week and she's had two of the tins already. So you've got four tins in here and this is a fish selection in a broth. So you've got two tuna fillets, one ocean fish and one sardine with tuna fillet. And um, yeah, so you've got four lots of 70 gram tins. So this is what the tins look like. So this is two of the flavors that she's got left next moving on to this box of food i think i showed you in my last video as well so this is called wellness course so you can get this from pets at home i've been wanting to go to pets at home for well over a year now and i really want to go in there and just have a look at the cat stuff now i have a cat i haven't been to my local pets at home since I've had Bella and ever since I've had Bella I've only been to one pet at home which was the one in Kent I haven't been to my local one and I just want to go and have a look at the cat stuff vlog it for you guys pick up a few bits and they sell this brand in pets at home so I actually got this from Amazon there's a fish version as well which she loves but I think she prefers this one more because she prefers her poultry over her fish and yeah so you get six pouches in here these are what the pouches look like there's two flavors so you've got um turkey and and duck in gravy and this one is chicken and turkey in gravy and they're just little chunks and they've got bits of veg in there as well so i picked up four packs of these and in one pack you've got four pouches and she absolutely adores this food this is like her favorite food so it's basically little pieces of meat sometimes you do have to break it up if the pieces are quite thin and there's little bits of peas and carrots in there so you've got um two chicken and two salmon my manager said apparently they were supposed to be coming out with more flavors they bought these out last year and um hopefully they bring out some more flavors soon because it's annoying that most cat foods are either chicken or fish you don't 
really get much out. I think it's just the applause tins left. So I'll show you guys the smaller tins first. So these are actually the kitchen ones. And yeah, I know Bella's not a kitchen anymore, um, but she really, really, really likes these um, flavors. So every once in a blue moon, I'll buy her some of the kitchen ones. And there's no harm in feeding an adult cat kitchen food. It's just that kitten food has more protein. So it helps to bulk them up when they're growing. So if you was to solely feed an adult cat kitten food, they'll probably get a bit fat. Um, but if you wanted to feed your cat the odd tin or pouch of kitten food, it's not going to harm them in any way. But yes, I got her two of the tuna and I picked up two of the chicken. She does quite like the grain free um, applause as well, which is basically tuna. I don't know if they do any of the flavours, but we only have tuna at work. And she really likes that one, but I think we've been out of stock of it. I hope they haven't discontinued it. Um, applause is currently changing the packaging. Um, there's only one flavour ocean fish that we've got in the new packaging. But I got her um, four tins of the um, bigger tins. So these are the smaller sized tins and they are 70 grams. These are 156 grams. So these are, so this is equivalent to two mils and these are 199 at work and these are 119 at work. So it just works out cheaper to get the bigger tins. So this flavor is tuna fillet with cheese. She does just like the tuna fillet as well, but um, she likes the tuna fillet with cheese flavor. She never used to like this one, but now she does. And her favourite one is the tuna fillet with prawn. She quite likes prawns, to be fair. Um, and yeah, so that's what this one looks like. And she absolutely adores these. I think the bigger tins, there's a lot more broth in there compared to the smaller tins. So that's why I tend to get the bigger tins if I can. So that is it for food. Now I'm going to move on to the treats when it comes to treats there are some brands that i don't mind feeding her the treats but i would never feed her the food so i give her a lot of um webox treats for example whereas i would never ever ever feed her the webox food the ingredients are not great i don't mind feeding bella um the treats because she only gets a couple of them so every day before dinner she gets a licky licks so this is a month's worth of licky licks so i think i've got her um two of the salmon i picked her up one box of the liver these ones are smaller pouches and you've got five in here and then you've got the milk and yogurt and um, i've got her two packs of these but yeah licky licks at work are so popular these are like one of our best selling cat treats cats adore them i usually just squeeze it out into a little bowl kind of like this picture here and then i also picked her up a pack of these licky licious soups so there's a salmon flavor and a chicken flavor so i picked her up a pack of these um these are more expensive than the licky licks and you've only got four sachets in here um so yeah i thought this would be something a little bit different to give to her before dinner so we've got her usual nature's menu these treats are really nice and healthy i love this brand they used to have three flavors now they've only got two um and brandon's cat really likes these as well because he's also got a ragdoll called apple and he happened to um order these for her online and i was like those are bella's favorite treats she loves them and then i picked up a pack of these um vet iq healthy bites hairball treats so this helps to prevent hairballs very ideal if you've got a long-haired cat so they recommend feeding six of these a day to prevent hairballs um she hasn't had these in a couple of weeks to be fair so i'll give her a few of these today and then these i'm hoping she will eat these because these are one of the first treats i bought her as a kitten and she did eat them and then i think when i bought this pack again she just didn't want to eat them anymore so i haven't gotten them for her ever since um so i thought i'll try her on these again and see if she likes them so these are salmon flavored and these are just like really soft treats and these are also by Webox. So that is pretty much a month's worth of food and treats for Bella. Now that I'm looking at everything, it really doesn't look like a lot of food. She was just scratching at the door and I called her over. Would you like a treat? Yeah. So I just keep her treats in this drawer. So even though this is a month worth of food and treats for Bella, I did actually pick up a few extra bits. So we had a delivery for these Webox Licky Licks and um it rained that day so some of them so some of the packaging got a bit destroyed so you can see at the back they kind of got like stuck together so my manager reduced them down to 50p so i thought i'll grab three packs i also picked her up a pack of the webox 
um, tasty sticks. So I just picked up this um, salmon one. There's quite a few different flavours to choose from but I just went for the salmon one. She has had this one before. And then I picked up a pack of the Whiskers Done to Bites. So they look like this and I think this is maybe the third packet of these I bought for her. If you've been keeping up with my cat vlogs then you will know that Bella has like dental issues. She's always got something going on with her teeth. So I try my best to clean them. I use gels, um, powders. I've tried brushing her teeth and all that sort of stuff. And um, I've tried quite a few dental treats. But the thing is with Bella, when it comes to her eating biscuits and dental treats, she just swallows them whole. She doesn't really chew. Whereas these are like the biggest dental treats I could find. And sometimes she still does swallow these whole. But um, these ones she does tend to sometimes crunch a little bit. And then we've got these new whiskers treats. We've had these at work for a few months now. There's two new flavours. And I thought I would get the relax and unwind one. So. So they just look like this my work colleagues tried them and she said they were quite good and it recommends feeding like five pieces a day so when it comes to um like these kind of treats i tend to feed about five or six pieces a day and then like i said she gets one of these licky licks a day so that is everything for this food haul i hope you guys enjoyed watching it i don't know what it is about cat food haul i love filming them they're so 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 much fun i will have another one up for you guys probably in a couple of months maybe because i've just done two in a short space of time so i might do one in another month or two and yeah so bye for now guys and i'll see you soon mm -hmm.